Hey guys, it's Ross got another space quest. I've got another classic aircraft for you, and it is this the Short Sunderland flying boat. And I'm from Sunderland, so this aircraft has a lot of meaning for me in my hometown. It was a um, wartime patrol boat in the Second World War, hunting submarines, all that sort of thing. Um, it wasn't based on the Empire flying boat that Imperial Airways ordered, but it has a lot of similarities with it and they were developed at about the same time 749 of these built apparently and they were flying until 1967 in various places i think new zealand was the last place that they were flying but you can also see underneath here there you go the short sunderland flying boat we got nice detailing on this i mean there's a couple of little bits of damage to the propellers as you can see do they turn i don't think they turn no they don't turn but yeah and like this is slightly bent inwards but yeah it's beautiful the golden age of flying with pan am and imperial airways and their flying boats but yeah i think uh, how much did i pay for this five pounds eight pounds it's quite heavy because it, obviously it's made out of all metal not quite as much of a bargain as a 10 pence klm dc3 but because of the um the fact it's a short sunderland you know, it's like it has a um, special meaning for my hometown. I thought I would get this a worthy addition to my collection and not actually an airliner. <laughs> I don't tend to go for military planes at all, but this I'll make an exception for because it certainly does look very much like the old Empire flying boats. But yes, beautiful. There's a narrow profile there. And from here, it looks quite... <laughs> quite ungainly i suppose but yes there you go guys that is an absolute an absolute classic aircraft in military history but yes very happy to have acquired this please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content leave me a comment suggestion for a topic you'd like to see discussed or like the video